demonstrations throughout Metro Detroit over the weekend as the historic UAW strike enters its fourth day. And this morning, the pressure is mounting on the two sides to come to an agreement with Washington lawmakers beginning to get involved. Several congressional leaders in town over the weekend, and this morning, we've learned the president is preparing to send his own envoy. Dr. Robin Murdoch is live with details this morning. Robin. Good morning, Jane. Amy, yes, some big developments that are now happening in terms of the strike, as you mentioned, that has been going on here outside the Ford Michigan Assembly Plant in Wayne for four days now. These workers, they have been walking the line instead of walk or working the picket line, and they say that they will be out here as long as possible uh, until their demands are met, until they get a fair deal. Now, we are now learning that President Joe Biden will be sending a team from the White House in to help support those negotiations and get some kind of a resolution. As you know, about 13,000 UAW workers at three different facilities. This one uh, here in Wayne, this Ford facility, as well as a Stellantis uh, site in Toledo, and a General Motors plant in Wentzville, Missouri. They all went on strike on Friday. This is the first time the UAW has gone on strike against the big three at the same time. So this really is historic. President Joe Biden. Uh, is pro-union, as you know, and he will be sending in a White House advisor as well as the acting labor secretary to Detroit to try and help reach a deal. They are among the latest political leaders to lend support to the effort. As you know, over the past several days, there have been a number of political leaders who have walked the line with these striking workers. Take a listen. The fight you are waging here is not just about decent wages and working conditions and pensions in the automobile industry. It is a fight to take on corporate greed. We have a historic offer on the table, uh, the highest in our 115-year history. 20% gross wage increases over the life of the contract. When you compound those, it's 21%. Maintaining world-class health care, we're not changing anything. And this is a live look at outside of the Ford Michigan Assembly Plant here uh, in Wayne, right on Michigan Avenue. And as you can see, police are out here right now. That is because it appears that some of these striking workers are blocking traffic a little bit as they're walking across the roadway and trying to get into the site, as well as some of the cars that are pulling into the plant. They are not able to do so. So that is exactly why police have been called out here to try and get traffic moving at a quicker pace than what it is right now. Uh, again, concerning that White House team, they are expected to be here in Detroit early this week to begin those negotiations or to play a part in those negotiations. We'll, of course, keep you posted on how this all turns out. For now, we are live in Wayne. I'm Robin Murdoch for Fox 2 News.